is 65 degrees yeah. every day of the year. Oh, every day Just of the like year. today. Yeah. Right, yeah. Betsy? <laughs> uh, it, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Except in Romney's apartment. Remember, she told us it was 74 there uh, all true. year round. <laughs> right. <laughs> she likes to keep it warm, certainly. I mean, we celebrate when the weather is beautiful, and we certainly have been celebrating through the day today. Under clear skies, temperatures only fade back into the 40s by the midnight hour. We're not going to drop off all that much tonight. We have this nice southerly push that's going to help to hold the temperatures up. We have seen a few high clouds through the day, but otherwise we're still seeing blue skies. We consider that a win. And yeah, there were a lot of folks that decided to get out and about. Got this picture on my Facebook page from Linda Weismer. She says, we enjoy the sunshine today at Cyberling Nature Realm in Akron. That is a phenomenal place to have kids walking around or just go out and take a walk. It's beautiful and, and it is a beautiful day today to enjoy all of the park. She also sent a picture of snowdrops, the little uh, annuals that come up or the little parade perennial little bulb guys. So super cute little uh, flowers and they're a harbinger of spring. Look at the temperatures across the area right now where we still have the southerly breeze. We're holding temperatures well into the 50s, even some 60s, 61 in tropical Dover. Uh, but close to the lakeshore, the lake's influence cooled things off considerably. At one point when I was driving in today on the Interbelt Bridge, it was 57 degrees. When I got off on the Lakeside Avenue, it was 53. And Burke Lake Front Airport was reporting 44 degrees right on the lake. So a huge temperature disparity just right in a very short amount of time. And that is that lake influence. Tomorrow the lake influence goes away. We get a big push from the south. That should take the lake out of play for us. Big circulation up here. That's a storm system. And that's the one that is uh, going to help to pull more of the warm air northward. At the same time, it's also allowing some more moisture to sneak into the Plain States. That will introduce rain chances back into our forecast. So your national design are hour by hour forecast midnight hour temperatures still in the 40s. Maybe a nice night to just throw on a jacket and take a late walk. Uh, we'll have a breezy day tomorrow. We'll start off right around 40 degrees, if not a little bit warmer. And look at how the temperatures rise. We'll be up around 60 at noon. Yes. And that nice southerly breeze should preclude any lake involvement whatsoever. As a matter of fact, that's also going to help those temperatures to propel well into the 60s. I think mid 60s will do it for much of northeast Ohio. And we're going to hold on to that beautiful weather even as we get into the evening. So plan on being outdoors at some point. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. We're going to do it again on Thursday, but add rain chances in. As I mentioned, we will cool off on Friday. We'll start Friday very early morning in the 50s and drop and hold in the 40s for most of the day, only topping out right about 40 degrees or so on Saturday, but we're going to get to see some sunshine. We'll hold sunshine for Sunday with mid 40s. Don't forget that time change. I mean, how can you forget it at this? Uh, but then rain does return to the forecast Monday and Tuesday, and it is the season. I mean, we need the rain at this point. We've been a little dry so far. Yeah, a couple nice days ahead, though. Looks great. All right, Betsy, thank you.